But loss aversion doesn't just affect people making casual £5 bets. It can affect anyone at any time. Including those who work in the complex system of high finance, in which trillions of dollars are traded. In our current complex environment, we now have the means as well as the motive to make very serious mistakes. The bedrock of economics is that people think rationally. They calculate risks, rewards, and decide accordingly. But we're not always rational. We rarely behave like Mr. Spock. For most of our decisions, we use fast, intuitive, but occasionally unreliable, System 1. And in a global financial market, that can lead to very serious problems. I think what the financial crisis did was it simply said, you know what? People are a lot more vulnerable to psychological pitfalls than we really understood before. Basically, human psychology is just too flawed to expect that we could avert a crisis. Understanding these pitfalls has led to a new branch of economics. Behavioral economics. Thanks to psychologists like Hirsch Schefferin, it's beginning to establish a toehold in Wall Street. It takes account of the way we actually make decisions, rather than how we say we do. Financial crisis, I think, was as large a problem as it was because certain psychological traits like optimism, overconfidence, and confirmation bias played a very large role among a part of the economy where serious mistakes could be made and work. But for as long as our financial system assumes we are rational, our economy will remain vulnerable. I'm quite certain if the regulators listened to behavioral economists early on, uh, we would have designed a very different financial system and we wouldn't have had the incredible increase in, in housing market and we wouldn't have this financial catastrophe. And so when Kahneman collected his Nobel Prize, it wasn't for psychology, it was for economics.